Hello, this is On Track GP. I'm Jamie Chambers, and today we are looking at the shortest F1 careers this century in the brutal world of Formula One. First on our list is Ralph Furman, 14 races. British based driver and raced under the Irish license because his mother was Irish. He won the Macau Grand Prix in the late 90s and won the 2002 Formula Nippon Championship in Japan in 2002. He drove 14 races for Jordan in 2003 as a teammate to Giancarlo Fisichella, scored one point at the Spanish Grand Prix, injured in a huge crash at the Hungora Ring after his rear wing detached while on the track. He was replaced by Hungarian driver Zolt Baumgartner. He returned for the season finale in Japan but wasn't retained in 2004. Switched to Le Mans and raced for Team Ireland in the A1GP, returned to winning ways in Japan's Super GT Series in 2007 and retired from racing in 2013. Giorgio Pantano, 14 races. Hailed as an incredible talent coming through the karting ranks. Won the German F3 Championship in 2000, tested with Benetton the same year and with McLaren the following year. He tested with Williams and Minardi in 2002, finished third in Formula 3000 in 2003 and was in line for the Jaguar seat in 2004 but was replaced by Red Bull back Christian Klein before signing. He then joined Jordan. Frequently outshone by teammate Nick Heidfeld, while Timo Glock drove in his place in Canada as an instant points finish. Glock eventually replaced him by the end of the season. He said that it was his choice to leave Jordan, citing the team's favouritism of Heidfeld and his own financial struggle. He was linked to a return to HRT in 2010, and after F1, he made his debut in GP2 of his father's series in the racing engineering. Roberto Mary, 13 races. An unusual distinction of making his Formula 1 debut before his Formula 2 debut and was in his feeder series with Mana Marussia in 2015. He struggled for pace right off the bat, not faring well against fellow rookie teammate Will Stevens. He was dropped in favour of Alexander Rossi for the final few races of 2015 and never returned to the grid. He was a substitute driver in Formula 2 for 2017, signing with MP Motorsport for a full-time drive in 2018. Most recently, he has raced for Mahindra Racing in Formula E. Rio Harianto, 12 races. Rio Harianto remains the only Indonesian driver to race in Formula 1. He came through Formula BMW Pacific and fared respectively in GP3 and GP2 as a driver for the French Dams team. He spent three seasons as a test driver for the marussia backed Virgin Manor team, confirmed as a full-time driver for Manor in 2016 alongside 2015 DTM champion Pascal Verlein. He struggled all the way throughout his 12 races in Formula 1 with a best finish of 15th in the Monaco Grand Prix. He was replaced by Esteban Ocon for the Belgian Grand Prix onwards due to a failure of the Indonesian Ministry of Youth and Sport to pay his sponsorship fees. The fees have been blocked by the Indonesian parliament, citing invalid procedures taken by the Minister of Youth and Sport. He took part in Asian Le Mans series and Blanc Pan GP1, as well as the GT World Challenge, but now owns a restaurant and helps his father's printing company. Patrick Vrijaka, 11 races. Known for being Red Bull's very first junior driver, signing in 1994 as a 14-year-old, he lost a lot of career momentum after a crash left him with a severe leg injury and having to learn how to walk again. Solid through F3000, but was dropped by Red Bull in 2004, Jordan and Minardi had their eye on him and Minardi team principal Paul Stodart gave him a test at Misano. He signed with Minardi but was backing sponsorship money and was given the third driver role behind Nicholas Chiesa. Chiesa also struggled with sponsorship and eventually the drive went to Freeshaka. Took part in the first 11 races of 2005 and scored points in the 6th and 6th car races in the Grand Prix at the US. Dropped after 2005 British Grand Prix due to sponsorship issues and declined a return to GP2. Robert Dornbos, 11 races. Switched to a career in racing after attending the 1998 Belgian Grand Prix as a guest of Williams and replaced Friesacca at Minardi for the second half of 2005. Spent late 2004 as Jordan test driver where he got lot, a lot of practice sessions before joining Minardi. Competed in the final eight races of the season for Minardi in 2005 and took up a role as reserve driver for Red Bull with Christian Horner forming the F3000 days. Competed in three races for Red Bull at the end of 2006, replacing Christian Klein, but remained as a reserve for 2007. 
He then changed paths dramatically after his racing career, entering the world of the sex toy manufacturing and establishing Kiru brand in 2016. Karen Chandhook, 11 races. Signed with HRT for 2010 after a stint in GP2. A hydraulic problem in the Bahrain meant his first laps of the weekend were in qualifying and he crashed in the first lap of the race. Finished 14th in Australia and finished towards the back in Malaysia and China before there were straight retirements in the following races. Dropped in favour of Sakun Yamamoto for the German Grand Prix, an opportunity which he used to appear on the BBC Radio 5's live coverage of the race, incidentally starting his own broadcasting career. Served as a reserve driver with Lotus in 2011 before competing for the Endurance Racing and Formula E Championships. Nick DeVries, 11 races. Scored points on his Formula 1 debut, filling in for the ill Alex Albon. Finished the race in 8th place. Signed by Red Bull to replace Alpine-bound Pierre Gasly at Alpha Tauri, alongside Yuki Tsunoda in 2023. De Vries underperformed with Alpha Tauri, having been previously chasing IndyCar's Carlton Herter for the drive before signing him. A strong showing by Danny Ricciardo in a Pirelli tyre test at Silverstone after the British Grand Prix was enough for Red Bull to replace De Vries. Recently returning to Formula E, where he won the World Championship in 2021 and will compete in Season 10 next year with Mahindra. Nicholas Chiesa, five races. Race with Minardi for five rounds towards the end of 2003 with a best finish of 11th at Indianapolis. Was racing in F3000 before getting in the F1 call-up. With not much financial backing, he was overlooked for a potential drive in 2004. Was due to partner Christian Albers at Minardi in 2005, but lost the drive to Patrick Frieschacker and served as a Jordan test driver towards the end of 2005. Ultimately, failed to find a way back to the grid. Yuji Ide, four races. Finished second in the Japanese Formula Nippon Championship in 2005, on Honda's radar for the all-Japanese lineup for their secondary F1 project, Super Aguri, in 2016, signed with Takuma Sato. Made his F1 debut at 31 and spent most of his three weekends spinning, driving unusual racing lines and struggling with the car across the board. Caused a serious accident with Christian Albers at San Marino Grand Prix at Imola, where contact with Albers sent him barreling across the gravel and ending up upside down. The FIA were quick to intervene after the incident and revoked Ide's racing license just four races into the 2006 season. Now for some notable substitute drivers. Frank Montane, seven races. Alexander Rossi, five races. Thomas Eng, three races. Luca Badoa, two races. Pito Fittipaldi, two races. Marcus Winkelhock, one race. Andre Lotterer, one race. Jack Aitken, one race. So there you have it. That is On Track GP's list of the shortest F1 careers this century presented by Planet F1. I've been Jamie Chambers. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.